Hi, I'm Joey Davila. And I'm Junior. And welcome to Developer Junior. This is the show where you'll get to find out how to get started in the world of software development and have some fun along the way. Hey, you told me we were going to do something really cool today. Yeah, we are. We're going to make our own movie using Windows Live Movie Maker. Whoa, whoa, whoa. we're going to make our own movie? Mm. Oh my god. Oh, hold on. I got to get something just to be right. One second. What? Ready. <laughs> Whoa, what's with the uh, new look? Well, I gotta look apart. I'm gonna be a big time director now. Gone Hollywood. Yeah. I like the way you think. Me too. All right, well, you wanna see how to make a movie? Let's do this. Well, I've got Windows Live Movie Maker up on my computer, and you can see the screen's divided into two parts. The left side is the movie preview, and the right side is where the assets go. And huh. assets are things like photos and videos and MP3 files, basically the things that you use to make up a movie. I have all those on my computer already. That's great. And yeah, so do I. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off nice and simple and start putting in some photos into my movie. So I'm going to drag from my folder a photo of uh, this really good looking guy into the drag videos and photos here part. Uh -huh. I don't see a handsome man. I just see you, Joey. Uh -huh. You're a comedian, aren't you? I know. And if I, were if I were to play the movie right now, all you'd see is just this still photo because that's what a movie of a still photo looks like. It's boring, Joey. We need action, okay. excitement, pathos. <laughs> well, why don't we start with, say, four new photos of you and me. Yeah, I like me being in this movie. That's a great idea. Ah, and, there I am. Yeah, and if I were to play it now, you know, it looks like a slideshow based of based on these photos that I just dragged in. Yeah. And they play in the yeah. order in which they appear on the right-hand side. And in fact, I can even shuffle the photos around to change the order of what what oh. this thing is. It's a photo montage. That's really straightforward. That's all you have to do to change the sequence is just drag them? Yeah, just simply drag the photos around to the right-hand area to rearrange them whatever way oh. you like. Wow, that's great. That's really easy. But you know what? Uh, it, it, it just kind of looks like a slideshow and not like yeah. a movie. We need to give it a little more life. Need to punch it up, Joey. One way to do that is by transitions. What are those? Transitions are animations that make the transition or the switch from photo to photo a little more smooth and entertaining. <gasps> like a star wipe. Yes. I love those. Do so, we have those? Yes, we've got <gasps> a star wipe. So what I'm going to oh, do is I'm so excited. I'm going to select the photos on the right hand side and then we're going to pick a star wipe transition. Oh, that was beautiful. There we go. So now, uh, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make these photos go by a little bit faster. I'm going to select them all and say, hey, let's make them only last, say, a second each. Yeah, because this takes too long. That gets boring. Yeah, People are yeah. going to leave the theater, Joey. We need their butts in the seats. That's right. We need to keep them on the edge of their seats. So oh, that's even better. The their video butts. Now, yeah. What you see are star transitions. Oh, they're between... so beautiful. Aren't they great? No. <sighs> oh, there it is again. Now we've got a photo montage, but what we really need to do is liven this thing up with a little video. <gasps> video, yeah, what do we have? We gotta put some video in there. Well, I've got some video of you and me jamming the other day. So yeah. what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this video from the folder here, joeyandjunior.wmv, that's a Windows media file. Most cameras produce it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag it over, say, after the third photo. Sure, that makes sense. And if I were to play right now from the start of the video, we'd get to see the video. I'm dancing there and here. Oh, my head is just spinning. So what happens is now we've got a movie where we've got a montage of three photos, then the video, then the montage of two photos. So we're, we're, we nearly have a complete movie, but we oh. need something for the end. You oh, know what happens at the end of movies? Uh, well, I finished my popcorn, but you mean, oh, you mean the credits. That's right. Yeah. Because people have to know who made the movie. To add credits, all you have to do is hit the credits button. Oh, that's it? In the home menu. How does it know who's making the credits? Well, that you have to provide yourself. So ah, I've got okay. the credit screen right here. I'm going to type in your name, Junior, as the hero. Oh, I like that. The hero. I'm the hero, everybody. Ha, and great. Joey as the, other, the guy. other guy. Yeah, that makes sense. And if I were to rewind the movie just a little bit slightly and start playing here, we'd see the last photo in the montage, and then the credits would start to ah. roll. There we go. Roll oh, they credits. look great. Oh, you know what though? This is all quiet. Can we make it? Because silence is boring. We need some noise. Well, movies have soundtracks. Yeah. So why don't we add some music to this movie? I would love that. All right. Easy. 
There's an add music button in the ribbon near the top of the window there. Great. I click that. I'll click add music in the menu that pops up. And luckily <gasps> on my desktop, I've got the developer junior music theme. That's a great song. As an MP3 file. If I were to start playing the video right now, we'd see the photo montage backed up with the soundtrack. And guess what? We're done. We've oh. just made a movie. Really? Is that it? That's all there is? It seems so simple. It is simple. The only wow. thing is we need an audience. And yeah. And we don't own our own movie theater. How do we get an audience then? So we're going to go for the next best thing. We're going to put it on the internet. <gasps> Let's share it on YouTube. Oh, I love YouTube. They've got great videos of like dogs on skateboards and stuff. It's really easy. All you have to do is click the YouTube button. And what happens is this window pops up. You log into YouTube. You give your movie a name. And you're done. <gasps> That's it? Live Movie Maker will upload it to YouTube. Wow. You mean I'm a director already? Yep. And you're wow. going to be internet famous soon. Oh, that's sick. Hey, Joey, where can I go to get this program? Well, you can grab a copy of this program, Live Movie Maker, at devjr.com slash livemoviemaker. We'll also put that link in the show notes, which you can see at devjr.com slash episode two. Oh, you know what else would be cool? If our viewers want to make some videos with Live Movie Maker, they could send them to us so we can see them. Or, or make fun of them. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't think we're going to be making fun of them, but if you want to send us your movies, send them to us at feedback at devjr.com, as well as any ideas for future shows. Awesome! Well, that's it for Developer Junior. I'm Joey Davila. And I'm Junior. And we'll see you next time. Bye!